Hey guys, Alex here. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how I got this makeup look. Um, I've got green underneath my eyes and red lips. My eyeshadow is a darker, more like a burgundy red shade and I kept it pretty simple. And I've got just black eyeliner around my eyes and today I'm actually wearing lashes. Which, by the way, I put on, I reversed them. I did not do that on purpose. I didn't know that there was an order to them. I, I just... Anyway, if you're interested in seeing how I got this look, keep watching. So I'm done with my foundation and I've done some contouring. Right now, I am working on my eyebrows. With my brows done, I'm just applying some highlight with my NYX highlighter. I'm using my Isabella Phantom brush here. I use it a lot during this makeup and I really love it. It's very soft and it gets the job done. So right now I'm highlighting my brow bone. With my brow bone highlighted, I am going in with some eyeshadow on my eyelids this is like a deep wine eyeshadow i actually use the same shade um for my eyebrows but uh, my brows look slightly darker but um i don't want my my eyeshadows to be too overwhelming so i'm not going to be darkening my eyeshadows a lot I'm just going to um, leave them dark in the outer corners and um, pretty much keep it light everywhere else. Now I am applying a lighter shade of brown in the inner corners of my eyes and blending that over the darker red shade. With that done, now I'm applying some concealer to my eyelids. I have picked up some tips <laughs> from my friend. And after I've applied the concealer, I am going to uh, now apply my um, light eyeshadow. This is um, a very light shade. It's almost white. Mostly I just wanted my eyelids, that part of my eyelid, to be very, very light. So I applied concealer first and then um, the eyeshadow. Now I am applying the whitest color in my palette to the innermost corner of my eyes. With that done, now I'm finally lining my eyes with a dark black eyeliner. And of course, I'm going to wing it out like my life depends on it. And of course, I have to do that sharp inner eye. I just have to. <laughs> and here is the green that we'll be using. It's a very pretty bright green. There are actually three shades on there, but you can't really see the middle shade. It like transitions from blue to green, and then the middle is the 
um, it's like a mixture of both the blue and the green shade. It's a very subtle blue green shade, but it's very pretty. So anyway, I am using my brush to apply the green to my bottom lid. I am just packing on the eyeshadow with no worries in the world because I want it to be very very concentrated even though you can hardly see it in this lighting just because my lighting is much too harsh and now is mascara time I'm just gonna apply my mascara to my bo uh, top and bottom lashes my bottom lashes is not my favorite place to apply mascara Okay, so it's lashes time. This is my maybe my second time ever wearing lashes and I think I put my lashes on backwards or maybe the lashes are just shaped in a weird way, but I was being so careful and I was trying to remember all the videos that I've seen of people applying lashes. Those videos came in handy because I was quite successful, but I think I put the beginning at the end and the end at the beginning, or maybe I switched the eyes because I feel as though the inner corner um, part of the lashes were way too long and it shouldn't be that long and it, it should only be long on the outer corner on, or perhaps I was, I'm supposed to trim the lashes or something. I don't know, but it looks good because <laughs> you can't really see what's going on. Yay, it's lips time. This is my favorite part of applying makeup, I think. And not just because it's easy, but because, I don't know, I just, I find it therapeutic <laughs> to apply lipstick to my lips. So I'm going in with my dark lip liner and very bright red lips i wanted lipstick that would contrast nicely with the green eyes so i went for very bright red So I'm going to go in with a second layer of the liquid lipstick. I don't think I should have to apply two layers of liquid lipstick, especially a bright red, but I am not going to complain. I'm just going to apply a second layer. With my lips done, now I'm just reapplying my face powder to darken the perimeter of my face. A little bit more and I may touch up some of the highlight as well just to freshen up the look Now I'm applying highlight to my cupid's bow to enhance my cupid's bow and my cupid's bow dimple. So I'll apply my face powder to the dimple and my highlight to the, you know, the ridged part, the top part of my cupid's bow to enhance it a little bit more. That way the actual dimple will be dark in color and the ridge will be light in color. Now I'm applying very pink blush to my cheekbones. I want my cheeks to be very very pink so I'm going to apply a lot of the blush to my cheekbones
And then I'm going in with my highlights to highlight the top of my cheekbones. Here I'm using the NYX highlight that I purchased. Um, I believe I showed it in my previous video. I just went in like an expert, as if I knew what I was doing. But I did a good job. I like the way it looks. Here I'm just applying my setting spray and I'm letting it dry and we are done! This is the final look. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys! I made this banana smoothie and it tastes really good. I just blended bananas overripe bananas and I added some almond milk some grape juice and some apple juice because <laughs> that's what I had in my fridge and it is very very good but bananas have a lot of sugar and so I don't make it a lot because you know it's very high in sugar and I don't like to take a lot of sugar. better at this.